Kaboom! Yes, guys, welcome to the channel and to my Made Simple Attack strategy series for Town Hall 14. And we've got Ice Golems on the army camp, I repeat. Ice Golems on the Anna Minion. That's Mike the Minion, of course. Anyway, guys, if you're anything like me, I've got the reaction speed of a slug and I'm 793 years old. So if I can get this attack strategy to work, so can you. So we're going to check out some replays in just a moment. Before we do, let's meet the troops. So your army is going to consist of two wizards, five super wizards, seven yetis, one minion. That's Mike the Minion, yes. Two witches and six ice golems. Spells are going to be in total two rage, one freeze, eight earthquake spells and then a poison spell to sprinkle on top. Clan castle troops, two yetis of Valk and Bob the Barbarian. And normally we're going to be using the log launcher or the battle wimp. We're going to jump into our first replay in just a moment. Before we do, guys, just remember that you can use your favorite content creator's code in-game to help support their channel by using that code before making any purchases. An easy way to do it is to go into the shop top right hand corner. There's a C emblem there. If you click on that, and enter code moose it just helps support this channel i have put a link in the video description which does that for you and you need to renew it once a week any support would be absolutely amazing thank you anyway let's jump into our first replay now so through the clouds we go guys and i love attack strategies with ice golems and i know bases like this can be tricky especially if you're attacking from the opposite side with ground troops so on a base like this, you've got eight Earthquake spells. We're going to put them down, uh, opening up the base. What you can do, it's up to you guys. If you feel confident you can get the troops into the base, use the Battle Blimp instead to go directly for the Town Hall. You don't always have to use the Log Launcher because there's always that risk that you won't reach the Town Hall. We are going to use the Log Launcher on this occasion. So all the troops down, Ice Golems in a row, then Yetis, then your Witches, and then your Super Wizards as well. Uh, I mean... Sometimes you're going to need to funnel, maybe use a yeti on one side, yeti on the other side, then a couple of witches just to help funnel into the base. Use that Grand Warden ability nice and early and keep hold of Mike the Minion. Don't put him on the battlefield yet because Mike the Minion, think of Mike the Minion as your fifth hero. You've got the Grand Warden, you've got the Rule Champion, you've got Michael the Minion. Yes, he's more powerful than any of the heroes. He does have a special ability, but I won't show you that just yet anyway what's going on so we're, we're sort of halfway into the base and this is the only danger of using the log launcher of course is uh you know there's always that chance you're not going to get to the town hall so we are being a bit lucky here remember you can use uh, the battle blimp if you are going to you know, sort of plan a war attack or something with the battle blimp maybe use some balloons with a rage spell to take out the town hall now i know what you're thinking guys you're probably thinking samus that's so lucky uh, that the queen's made it through with the royal champion that's another thing on bases like this. Maybe don't send in your Royal Champion early. Maybe send her in, her in later on with a Rage Spell to take out the Town Hall. So, Royal Champion, get out of the Poison Cloud quickly! No! And guys, I've got to be honest with you. Those Poison Clouds, they're pretty nasty. Somebody's built a Town Hall in the field next to me. The farmer there, he's built a Town Hall. Uh, I went into the field the other day. I just kicked a football there, went to retrieve it, and I walked into a poison cloud. The town hall had been destroyed. I woke up seven hours later. I didn't know where I was. I'd lost my left shoe, and there was just a, a cow standing over me going, moo. And I said, okay, that's fine. Got back home. My wife said, where have you been, Samus? Where have you been? I said, I've only been gone a few minutes. She said, you've been gone eight hours. I said, oh, poison cloud over there. Didn't believe me. Third time this month it's happened, though. I keep forgetting. Anyway. Back to the action. Where's Mike the Minion? Have you seen him? There he is. Michael the Minion is on the battlefield. And you know if Michael the Minion is on the battlefield, you're going to get three or four stars. Maybe even five. Uh, but I haven't had five stars for a while, guys. There we go. Well done, Mike. Well done. Most valuable minion on the... The only man, minion on the battlefield. So what are we going to do with this base? We're going to three-star it. Thank you very much. Thanks for asking. So Town Hall there. Magnificent Town Hall. Not for much longer. So are we going to funnel this time or are we going to just attack the base? What I would say is you don't always have to open up the walls um, with your earthquake spells. I like spreading them out sometimes just to damage as many buildings as possible. So we're going to invest heavily in that left-hand corner there for an awesome funnel. On the other corner there, it's going to be another nice funnel. So uh, funneling away, guys, I always say an attack strategy is like baking a cake. You've got to put in the effort, the ingredients, the funnel is like mixing the cake together. You know, you don't just throw everything into the oven and go, there you go, there's a lovely chocolate cake, enjoy it. 
Because everybody would say, no thanks, and you wouldn't see them again. They wouldn't want to be friends with you anymore. They'd tell everybody, it's, it's a moose, invited me over, gave me the most horrendous cake. Don't ever go there again. So yeah, three stars is like a nice cake. Take time and effort, prepare the funnel, make sure you're, you're sort of rested, concentrate, don't be out riding on a rhinoceros or chasing squirrels uh, in the local fo forest. Or I don't know, guys, I've got a slight... Um, there's something going on with squirrels at the moment. We've got one in our attic, and I like animals. I love animals, and I've called the squirrel Steve. And do you know how I saw it? First of all, guys, my neighbour said, there's a squirrel in your attic, and I thought, no, there isn't. And then I went out into the garden, and the squirrel was shouting at my cat. Literally, this noise. Arr, arr, arr. I was thinking, what is going on there? Um, so, yeah. Sorry, I totally... <laughs> I've just got squirrels on the brain, guys. But back to the battle. Mike the Minion is doing well on the left-hand side. Uh, the Royal Champion has poisoned the Archer Tower for four stars. Yes, guys. And we're doing rather well here. Uh, we're going to get three stars. Mike's doing well. He's still on the battlefield, still um, in charge of the battle. I always like to say, if Mike the Minion's on the battlefield, I don't press any buttons anymore. I just leave things as they were. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, like I was saying, just prepare your attacks. Uh, you know, don't be out jogging or anything like that. Got to be got to concentrate guys anyway uh, i hope you enjoyed the video today remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell and remember on this channel we've got something called channel memberships so that's where you can officially help support the channel on youtube all the information is in the video description and you do get certain perks such as an awesome badge next to your name at least once a month a base design i'll share with you anyway guys thanks for watching today uh remember to practice your funneling it's like baking a cake and i'll see you later bye